Hey guys, this is Stephanie. Welcome back to my um, very messy crafty area desk. Can't really say a craft room, but um, my little area here. Um, I haven't cleaned it up since the last time you saw it, but uh, I haven't had time. This is actually the first time I've sat down at my desk for, well, several days since the, la since the last video. Let's put it that way. Um, I have a haul here. It's kind of a big haul. I went shopping yesterday um, and actually did not intend on getting much of anything and ended up finding um, some amazing deals at Michael's, um, who is affectionately known as Mike's, and Joann's, who is affectionately known as Joe's. That's kind of the running joke between my friend Sharon and I now is we're going to Joe's and Mike's um, because we go there so often we should be on first name basis. Um, but I went to both places last night just to go and um, ended up finding some really fantastic deals. Uh, Michaels was clearancing out quite a lot of their Tim Holtz products. I don't think they're getting rid of their Tim Holtz products. If anything, they're probably just making way for new stuff to come in. Um, but anyways, I took advantage of some of their clearance prices and stocked up on a lot of Tim Holtz stuff. And, um, but I went to Joann's, so I'm going to start with Joann's first, and, um, let's see, this needs to go over into my Michael's bag there. First of all, I have to show you this really, really cute thing that my friend Sharon, uh, gave me, gifted me. It is a mug, and look at to the bottom, is that not stinking cute? And I don't drink coffee, which doesn't matter, this is not going to go in my cabinet this is going to go on my desk is that not too cute so that was um, a sweet little gift that she gave me um, my first place that I went to I'm going to show you is Joann's because I didn't get that much there um, I picked up a birdhouse for $1.49 this is um, just you know one of their just random cheap little birdhouse things that they have and I picked it up because my sister collects birdhouses and I wanted to try my hand at altering. I've not tried to alter anything like this. I'm still working on that altered book and um, but I thought it'd be fun to try um, something like this and so I picked this up just to see what I could do with it. I picked up some more daubers for two dollars um, with um, they were four dollars and then they were I think 30% off and I had a 20% off coupon of everything in, in stock uh, or not everything in stock everything that was on sale or regular price um, I picked up some glitter sequins I thought these looked quite a lot like the Tim Holtz mirrored stars um, that I had and uh, these were 99 cents and I just I thought they looked quite a bit like that I just thought I'd try them and I I tell you last night was the night for Tim Holtz um, Tim Holtz his ears must have been burning not because I was talking about him but because I I guess I should say his wallet must have been burning because man um, I'm telling you his stuff was going like hotcakes um, because they had Michael's had it on clearance and Joanne's had it on sale so um, yeah I picked up quite a bit of Tim's goodies and uh, the man is amazing that's all I can say I don't know how he comes up with the things he comes up with but he surely touches a lot of people with the vintage retro look going on um, you know I've always loved vintage always loved retro uh, always I mean I've just always been that kind of um, you know person and so to find a craft that I love and then to find the genre that I love being vintage and retro and then finding Tim who makes all these wonderful goodies that uh, fall right into that genre is just a really cool thing so um, that being said let me show you my Tim Holtz treasures I shall say um, so I got these stamps this is probably one of my favorite uh, 
stamps sets of his and it is the um, I'm not sure what actually the little things is what it's called but I love it because it is um, there are so many different images you really get such a wide variety of images I love the old vintage um, hot air balloon the old vintage motorbike I've got the pair I love the elephant the old car typewriter I mean this is this is just a really great set um, it was 30% off and I had a 20% off so I ended up getting it for not it's, it wasn't exactly $7.50 it was $14.99 but how Joann's does it is they take their 30% off and uh, that dropped it down to 10 10 and some change and then they take 20% off of that so it ends up not being a true $7.50 50 somehow or other how it comes out it didn't I think it, it didn't end it up um, it didn't end up being a true 750 okay sorry about that guys um, and the last thing I picked up I've never actually seen these at Joann's but um, they were in the with the spellbinder dies and they're just little um, ephemera packs that I, I, they're not really true cardstock because they're kind of a thin paper um, this one has 18 images, two, uh, two pages of each, and they are double-sided, but really, really great vintage images. Um, like I said, I, I've not seen anything like this. At, I, I, of course, I've never looked for it. I didn't know it existed, but I just was happened to be where the dies were, and... Um, found this one that was on clearance for $2.97 I think it was normally $5.97 and then I also found this one now this one actually has 36 separate pages there's no duplicates in here which is really quite awesome so I'll just try to show you quickly some of the images I don't want to go into every page because I do have quite a lot to show but really wonderful images love 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 See the ledger paper. Love um, this. This is just right up my alley. So um, was really tickled to find this paper. So that was my Joann's haul. I really couldn't have been happier. Um, so I'm going to move on really quick to Michael's. Uh, actually, I'm going to uh, stop real quick and just show you this. I didn't get this last night. I got this the other day, but. Because I'm on the whole Tim Holtz ideology thing right now, I will show you. I picked this up at Tuesday morning the other day. Um, it is his the gym, the facet gym clips for $1.99. And I picked up the reinforcers for $0.99. Cents. These are the vintage-looking uh, ring reinforcers for the ring binders. So I just picked those up the other night. Um, so from Michaels, uh, let me get right back, right into Michaels. Woo, I'm dropping it. It's, it's actually separated into two bags, but um, okay. So they were clearancing out some of their fifty cents I or for some of their dollar fifty items, and they were marked down to fifty cents. So I pick, I did pick up some of those. That was my initial, my last name. Got this tassel. I thought this would be cute on an altered book. Um, everybody has seen these embellishments. And then I picked up these key tags. So these, this was all 50 cents. And those things were. Um, this was actually, I think, 69 cents. It's Robin Blue. is the uh, Robin's Egg Blue. And I thought that would look really cute on the birdhouse that I wanted to alter. I thought I'd gesso it. And then cover it with this craft paint. And then I will do decoupage or whatever I'm going to do with it. Um, I picked up, uh, this was not on sale at Michael's, but I used a 40% coupon off. It is the Antique Linen. Um, I do do a lot of distressing and I have the Walnut Stain and the Tea Dye and the Vintage Photo. And I did not have this. Um, antique linen I thought this would be a nice addition for uh, distressing or for altering some doilies or something so I wanted to try that um, I got this because well it was on clearance for $1.99 it was norm regularly 6 dollars 
And I actually don't have any of the uh, cool chalkboard paper or chalkboard tags that are out right now. Um, but because this was so cheap, these are chalk pencils, and I thought it might be a good idea to get them. You know what they say, a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. And um, since this was such a good price, you know, it's not to say I won't have the chalkboard paper or tape or whatever in the future. I just don't have any right now. So I thought I'd go ahead and pick that up while it was on clearance. Um, Tim Holtz, I actually bought four packs of these. I bought all that was on the shelf because these were reduced to 99 cents. Um, these are the industrious stickers. They're made to look like metal. And um, you get the little uh, frame corner pieces. You get actual little frames. And then you get the edges here. And um, they really do have quite a metallic look to them. And I think they were... I don't remember. They were $2.99 or $3.99. And they were on clearance again for $0.99. Cents. So I they had four packs and I picked up all of those. Um, this is not a Tim Holtz. This is Recollections. Uh, but it is a chipboard kit. And there are two different chipboard sizes in here. And there's also a couple of envelopes. And I haven't actually opened it to see the envelopes. So I don't know uh, how big the envelopes are. But um, you can kind of get a look-see here if my camera will focus. There you go. And um, I got the big board. I'll show you what I have in mind for the big board. I picked this up at a flea market for 50 cents. Okay. Memory Lane calendar from 1970. This is a used calendar. But, um, and I don't know how well I can show you. I'll have to find a page that has maybe smaller images because this uh, is so big. Let me see if I can find something. with. Here's something with smaller images. Look at these images, guys. This whole calendar is full of these kind of images. Um, I'll show you this. Is that not too stinking cute? So I thought that maybe I would take this old calendar. It was used, and you can see the pages actually had writing in it. Um, but I would take this old calendar and actually um, trim the pictures out of it and put it in a large journal. And actually the journal would be just the pictures from the calendar. Um, so, you know, I might add some uh, flair, some, you know, um, accoutrement with it but anyways that's what I got had in mind when I got this large book so um, it was just kind of nice that it had the second one in it so um, that's that bag I'm going to kind of rush along because I don't want this to be too long and I do have another large bag to show um, and I guess I will it over here and just show you a little bit at a time I guess would be the easiest way um, I'm gonna run through this quickly this they were clearing and clearing oh, I cannot talk to tonight clearancing out um, some of their two and three dollar bins as well and I think this was maybe two dollars I got it for like a dollar twenty I believe I, I've never had one of these this is not me you know but it was pretty and I thought well that might be nice if we go to a motel or you know if I'm staying at somebody's house and maybe they don't have the room as dark as I like it or I don't know I thought it'd be nice to have um, I know that everybody has seen this line and um, these were being clearanced out and they were a dollar twenty I think for these put that up like that so I know a lot of people have seen these these have been around in Michaels for a while I, I didn't have either one of those and um, I have a lot of gems and halfback pearls but this was such a lovely color it's almost like a coral or maybe a dusky rose and a pink I don't know it's kind of um, maybe a tangerine it's kind of hard to really define this color guys but it's beautiful just trust me on that um, 
here is a couple more of those Tim Holtz uh, Industrious stickers. And from Heidi Swap, this was on clearance, a stencil for a dollar. No, this was on sale for a dollar two forty nine. This one was on clearance for a dollar seventy nine. So um, I think they're like maybe four ninety nine, three ninety nine, or four ninety nine regularly. So I I actually had been eyeing this one for a while, trying to decide whether I wanted it or not, and it went on sale clearance for a dollar seventy nine. Um, some more Tim. I got the worn cover. Um, I already have the ring binders to go in here. And um, so I thought this would be nice to start do kind of my own little book. And in keeping with that, and this was, let me see if I can grab my, I don't want to, misquote let me see if I can give you an idea of what these prices were like so this worn cover uh, it was $4.99 regularly and it was on clearance for $2.49 um, so in keeping with that I also got the ring binder punch it was I think it was $9.99 if I'm not mistaken regularly and it was marked down to two forty nine. I believe that was right. And so I would not have bought this for nine ninety nine, but for two forty nine, I thought it was worth it to buy that. Um, something non Tim. Um, this was just in their dollar fifty bin. I thought that was just kind of a nice vintage stamp. I did like that. Um, this is ornate plates, and these were, I believe, six ninety nine, six ninety nine or seven ninety nine, and they were on clearance for two forty nine. And um, this, the ball and chain. I'm checking up my thing here. This was four ninety nine, and it was on clearance for two nine two forty nine. We're almost done. Um, I got the ring fasteners, and these were three ninety nine, and they were on clearance for a dollar twenty nine. And I had never seen these before, but it looks like they're brads, and then they have the little ring fastener on the end, which I think is so super cool. How easy is that going to be to hang a charm from something? And then the last thing I got um, was Distress Stain. Uh, this is the Mercantile set. I actually had to open it because I wanted to see what this color in the middle was. Um, but anyways, I opened it when I got home. But this was normally $12.99 and it was on clearance for $3.99. It was the only one that was on clearance. Every other um, three-pack set they had was uh, the regular price of $12.99. So I don't know if this one just wasn't selling well. Um, this is the Crushed Olive, the Spice Marmalade, and the Dusty Concord. So I don't have any Distress Stain, or I did not have any Distress Stain prior to getting this. And I thought for $3.99, this would be a great way to try this. And um, because I already do love uh, Tim's Distress uh, inks, the Distress Ink Pads, um, I thought, you know, what a great way to venture out into something different. And so um, that's a lot, guys. My desk is messy. Now I have to find room to put all this. I am well on my way to having more than enough um, ephemera and all kind of doodads, I shall say, and including books and binders and all that good stuff for my uh, altered books and the junk journals that I kind of want to start doing. And I will show you one more thing. I went to the auction last week, and uh, we have a local auction here every Friday night. And I found this little um, cache of junk jewelry and whatnots, and it was $3. And um, this was just a really super cool little uh, collection of items. Let me show you these keys. I thought these keys were just really super awesome. Aren't those really neat? Um, and then I will show you something else that I thought 
I can get to it here. It was really, really, really cool. And it may take me just a second to open it. Nope. Okay, so we have this charm. It's obviously missing probably a cameo, which shouldn't be too hard to find or replace. But look at the inside, guys. So there's the outside. And there was the inside. Was that not too neat? So this was in a little bag. Probably came out of someone's estate. Um, oh, let me show you one more thing out of this bag that was so neat. It's this brooch. Isn't that going to be lovely on the back of or on the uh, front of something? A book, probably. Isn't that lovely? So that was my three dollar find. There's really a neat little watch head in here and. Just some different things, different chains, and lots of fun stuff. And um, so I think as I look around, I think that's all I wanted to show everyone. I'm so very excited for the goodies that um, I was able to get. I just thank the Lord. I feel like it was really a blessing. And this stuff was on clearance. I added up everything when I got home. And just Tim Holtz products alone, I think I had over $70 worth. And, um, you know, based on the regular price, actually well over $70, maybe close to 80 And I probably spent 25 maybe $26 on, on all of his stuff. So I thought I did really, really well with um, the Tim Holtz products that I was able to get. And um, so, and some other things too. So anyways, I wanted to share this with you guys, and I hope everyone's having a great weekend, and I will talk to you on the next video. Bye-bye.